Hi, I'm Michelle from Catapulta County. Just wanted to give a quick demo of how we manage our income and expense items for clients with investment properties. Um, it just follows on from our last um, video. If you want to have a look, that was how to manage the actual property itself and keep all the records and data together in the one spot. But what I want to show you quickly today is how you manage all the income and expenses for the property so that at the end of financial year, you or the accountant can just run a report and it's all ready to complete your tax return. So um, within the cash flow section, this is where all the data feeds in from your bank accounts. So with our pro version, you automatically link your bank account to the portal and it feeds all your transactions in. So what we suggest to our clients is just to log in once a week and just go through the items and just mark any items that are tax related or that you might need to change the category of. So the system will allocate them as best they can. So if I go down my list here, I can see the rental income in, coming in here from the real estate agent. The system already has recognized it as investment income, but I want to tag it against the rental property because I have the rental properties in my wealth section. So this is for my rental property in Queensland. And what I can do is also create a rule so that next time this uh, transaction comes in, it will automatically tag it for me. Okay, I go down the list. I can also see Bunnings here. Now I know I've already uploaded the receipt and, ta and tagged it against this transaction. But again, this is for the rental property. So I wanna make sure I've recorded it against the property. And I just do that each time something comes in for the rental property, tag it, create a rule, and next time it'll do it for me. So what happens then is at the end of the financial year, we can actually filter the report for all the tagged items that have occurred through the year and, the, and run a report and the accountant's got all the data they need to do my tax return without me having to go through and find all the receipts. They're already attached. So I can run these cash flow reports down here and get a report with all the receipts attached for everything the accountant needs. So these are all the items I've tagged here. So donations, the two transactions for the rental property and some other deductions that I've got for work. Because I've uploaded the receipts via my phone, via the portal, the receipts are already attached there for the accountant and I don't need to provide anything further. It'll also, there's the summary report, which will give in a summary and a total for each section. So again, easy for the accountant to put into my tax return. And then the other report that can be run is filtering that report just for that investment property. So there's that rental income that came in that I tagged and the Bunnings um, receipt that I had for the rental property. So the accountant can just produce this report and enter it straight into my tax return, saving everyone time and effort because I've done it as I've gone along and nothing's going to be missed. So great way to keep track of all your expenses, make it easy at tax time, and then not have to be sitting there for hours going through your receipts trying to remember everything for the accountant. Um, so if anyone's got any questions, if you've got the app, reach out via the app. Otherwise, send us an email or a message. Um, like, subscribe, share, um, and we'll keep you up to date with our next video. If you want to know more about the portal or the app, please reach out. We love helping our clients making tax time easier. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.